Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. It is Sunday night, July 21st. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. Our weekend was so crazy and so busy. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pull you up on my computer screen here so I can see your messages a little bit easier. Hi, Karen. Hi, Barbara. Susan, welcome. Terry. Cindy, welcome. Okay. Oh, and now my computer's going to act kind of goofy, so hang tight. And here we go. Yay! Hi, Tisha, Sharon. Rebecca, welcome. Wendy, I hope your Sunday is fantastic. We had a really, really nice day here today. The weather was perfect. Um, all the kids came over. Kids stayed overnight. Grandkids stayed overnight. Um, we had a whole bunch of people for swimming today, and it was just so nice and relaxing, <laughs> especially after the weekend we had. So for those of you who may not know, we had Haley's, um, Haley is my youngest daughter, and we had Haley's bridal shower on Saturday, and it was supposed to be an outdoor pool party bridal shower. And so we were expecting rain. Yay! And so I went and bought a couple canopies from Menards, which is our local, like, Home Depot. And, um, yeah, those didn't make it through the storm on Saturday. I guess um, I got stuck at Dairy Queen picking up the ice cream cake that she wanted. And while I was stuck at Dairy Queen with this huge storm that rolled through our area, um, everybody else was at home hanging on to the canopies that were blowing away. So <laughs> um, our, our Haley's Maid of Honor Nina, bless her heart, she has been just an amazing organizer throughout this whole wedding thing. Um, she made a few phone calls and we got into one of our local pubs um, in their party room for Saturday. So everybody just converged on our garage and loaded everything into vehicles and took it to the location and set everything up and decorated and... <laughs> It turned out just beautiful and fun and we had a great time there were several people who couldn't come because they were caught in the storm like um, one of my longtime good friends her street she was out shopping and then went to go home and couldn't get home because there were trees and power lines down everywhere and for any of you that may be watching I know there's a lot of people still without power and I am so sorry like we had minor problems here compared to what was going on around our area and north of our area. It was really, really bad. Hi, Janet Schmidt. We miss you too on Saturday. I'm so sorry that you couldn't come, but it looks like it was probably a good plan not to come. Um, my mom just barely got here before the storm hit. We lost a couple really big branches in our front yard from our tree. Um, Kathy Miller just popped on. Kathy, do you have power yet? Kathy said it could be up to four days before they get any electricity back um, where she lives. So one of my team members and good friends, Patty, um, her house is boarded up right now and they're living in their cottage because it, it, they say that it wasn't a tornado. It was probably straight line winds, which can do a tremendous amount of damage, but her stamp room got like completely blown apart. It was just a mess. Um, and lots of trees down and just some crazy, crazy weather here, you guys. So we were very fortunate. Nobody got hurt. And um, we had, we didn't, our power flickered, but it didn't go out. So we were really lucky. Hi, Kelly McCauley. Welcome, Denise. So yeah, it was a crazy weekend, but the wedding shower was so much fun. We had a blast. Um, the bridesmaids just did another smashing job with this, and I can't wait to see the wedding um, coming up on August 3rd. It's going to be so much fun. What else happened? Um, well, I said my mom came to visit, so that was short, but it was nice. And... 
I am going to be showing you, I got a couple gifts in the mail this week, so I'm going to show those to you. I still feel like it's my birthday, but it is my birthday month, right? <laughs> yeah. So it was, it was a fun weekend. I'm glad that it's over. I'm glad that everything went well. Um, it was kind of funny. There was a lot of things that were different about this shower. Um, Haley did not want to open presents in front of everybody because, I mean, let's be real. When you go to a shower, isn't that like the most boring thing? I mean, it is. Um, it's awkward for the bride-to-be. It's awkward for the people. I don't know. I just, it's never my favorite part of a shower. I like to play the games. Some people hate the games. But, um, so Haley asked me, is it okay if I tell people not to wrap the presents because I don't want to open them? She didn't want to open them in front of everybody. And I said, it's your party and you can do whatever you want. So she had everybody bring their presents not wrapped. And it was really kind of interesting. But she said that way everybody could see what she got. She didn't have to feel awkward opening them in front of everybody. So it was fun. And Linda's asking, how does your dress fit? Let me see if I can roll that back through here. Where did Linda go? How does your dress fit? Well, Linda, I was down another pound this week. So that would be 38 pounds that I've lost since I started this whole thing in February. And I was actually down two dress sizes. Um, like I went to the store and tried on two dress sizes smaller than what I bought and it fits, but it's a little, it was a little snug. So I'm still trying to lose a little bit more weight and then I'll go and get that two sizes smaller. I know, right? I'm so excited. I can't tell you guys, I feel so much better. Like I felt like a blowfish. I felt like I could pop at any minute. And, you know, I know that I didn't have all that much weight to lose, but it was just horribly uncomfortable for me. Um, I probably was at the heaviest I've ever been. Even nine months pregnant, I weighed more this time. Um, I weighed more back in February than I did when I was nine months pregnant with Haley. So um, I really felt horrible. And now I feel so fantastic. And um, I think I have a lot more energy and Life is grand, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Lisa. Robin. Yeah, Robin, 38 pounds. I know, but I'm back up now because Saturday I blew it. But, you know, only for a weekend. I'm like, no big deal. I ate the cake. I ate tacos. I made nachos. Um, oh, the guacamole. I couldn't stop eating the guacamole. Guacamole. <laughs> And I don't care. It was my weekend to have a good time and celebrate, and I wasn't going to worry about anything. The only thing I didn't do was I really, I only had one margarita. I didn't drink any alcohol. That's a lot of calories when you start drinking alcohol, especially the kind of drinks that I like. I like fufu drinks. So, yeah, Julie, we had a taco bar. It was fantastic, and um, all the food was delicious. I felt really bad for the groom's mom, Lori. Because she got called into work because of the storm and she missed like the whole shower and I felt so bad for her and um, yeah <laughs> um, Diana how was the cruise it was fabulous if you go back and watch my Facebook live from last Monday July 15th I showed all the great stuff that I got on the cruise and also I just explained the whole thing it was really fun the cruise was fantastic. And um, yeah, the guacamole that I fell in love with is from Walmart. I don't know what kind it was, but it was at Walmart. And um, it was the spicy guacamole. Oh, I love the spicy. <laughs> but anyway, so I had tons of chips and tons of guacamole and all kinds of good stuff. And, and today I didn't do much better. <laughs> but we'll start again tomorrow, right? Yeah. Oh, Diana watched. Yeah, I was locked out of my cabin. Yes. <laughs> it was so funny, wasn't it? So, um, yeah. Oh, Suzette just asked about my legs. So my left leg is the one that was bad. I'm wearing a dress, so I'll try not to show you my underwear. But look at, I have ankles again. I, have, I generally have pretty bony ankles. Oh, I hope my feet don't look icky. But yeah, look. Yay, ankles. Woohoo. Yeah, my bony ankles are back, so... Now, I'm going to start with my um, 
hang on while I put my dress back down. <laughs> I'm going to start back with my bike rides and my walks around the Arboretum tomorrow because I, I really wanted to, to start last week when I got home doing that every day again. And I couldn't because my my ankle, especially my left ankle, was so swollen. And it was super hot here, so I thought that probably wouldn't be good for all of it. Um, that I would really kind of make things worse. So, oh, thank you, Stephanie. My feet were clean. Good. I'm like, oh my God. I did take a shower today. Um, yesterday for the shower, for the wedding shower. Um, am I subject to gout? No, I'm not, Elaine. But yesterday for the shower, I didn't even get to take a shower before I went. Haley's like, Mom, you don't have time to take a shower. And I'm like, oh my Lord. So I ran upstairs and I pulled my hair back. I washed my face. I put on new makeup. My hair was from Friday night. We went swimming at like 11 o'clock at night. So I just got out of the pool and went to bed. So my hair was all like everywhere and it was all chlorine and gross. And I just ran a straight iron through it and called it a day and headed to the shower. <laughs> so it was kind of icky. But I smelled good. I put on my good perfume. So, yeah. Anyways, it was funny. Yeah, no more cankles. Thank you guys so much. You're always so sweet. Okay. Um, yeah, I, oh, I don't want to get attacked by a buckling, though. That's not a good plan. <laughs> All right. So, did you guys happen to see these cards that I made? I shared them on my blog. I shared them on Facebook, too. But... These cards are using that um, pigment sprinkle background. Where's all my background? So I did a tip video showing all of these beautiful backgrounds that you can make with the pigment sprinkles. Hang on, I'm trying to get another one here. And I promised that I would actually start making some cards with all of, not all, but some of these samples. I think you guys will probably get sick of me if I just do, isn't that, that's my favorite. Um, but I have all these samples that I made, so I'm going to make cards with them. And for my Feature Friday video, these were the two cards that I came up with using the sprinkle background. So, yeah, pretty cool, right? I can't wait to make some more of these. And I do have this pile right here, nipping at my ankles like a little chihuahua, <laughs> so I don't forget to use them all up. I want to show you guys what I come up with, and I've got a pretty good idea up my sleeve that I'll probably share this week. So, what's happening this week? Well, I am supposed to have an online class going live tomorrow, Monday, using the Come Sail Away. Hang on, I gotta get it here. No, that's not it. Where'd my stamp? Hang on. Stamp set. Oh, I don't have my stamp set, but that come sail away. Come sail away or sail away or with the sailboats and stuff. So it's to have a um, online class going live tomorrow using that suite of products. Yeah, it's not going to happen tomorrow, but I promise it will happen soon. So I just wanted you guys to know that. Um, watch for that. It's going to be a fantastic class. Yay. Hi, Sandy Schmidt. So Janet... Schmidt and Sandy Schmidt are both on here watching. They are my aunts. Um, and thank you, Sandy. Please tell Paul thank you for the wooden log slices for the table center pieces. Paul did a great job. So I, I asked my uncle if he would slice some logs. So it's just a round log and it's, you know, about this thick. Slices, and we're going to set those on the tables at the wedding and then put a picture frame and a candle or a, jar, a mason jar with flowers on each of these logs. So my uncle did that for me and I so appreciated it because I'm like, where are we going to get logs? Well, we could probably get logs after the storm yesterday, right? Yeah. Um, lots of logs to be had, I'm sure. But anyways, it was just super, super nice. And Sharon says, hello, Kelly's aunts. Yeah, both my aunts are just fantastic. I love them. And it's kind of funny because we're not that different in age. Like, my mom was one of eight, and she's the oldest. And these aunts, <laughs> these aunts that are on here are married to some of the younger siblings. So, yeah, Janet is only a couple years, one or two years older than me, and Sandy's only, like, maybe two or three years older than me. So it's kind of funny. I get a kick out of calling them Aunt Sandy and Aunt Janet because <laughs> we're so close in age. But anyways... All right, you guys, I just wanted to update you on bonus days. We still have bonus days. For every $50 that you order before tax and shipping, you get a $5 coupon to use in August. Woohoo! 
Woo! I've been stacking these coupons up. And you can use them all together on one order. So that's really cool too, right? Um, and then we still have our discount shopper kit promotion. $99 gets you $155 worth any product that you want. Any product you want. And you will get a $10 coupon to use the next month with your order the next month. And you get a 20% discount off that order. What? Yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, Elaine says you better take pictures. You know that I will take pictures. I was snapping pictures at that shower like crazy. And the minute I started doing it, I'm going around with my phone, click, click, click. And Haley goes, thank you, Mom, for being right on top of that. And I'm like, you knew I would be on top of the pictures. <laughs> so I'll take lots of pictures. It's going to be really fun. Um, I... There's a few things that are going to happen at the wedding that's going to be pretty neat. Oh, Sandy says, thank you for thinking I'm younger than I am. Oh, are you really 60? I would have never guessed that, Sandy. I didn't think she was 60. But I'm 54, so I'm not that far behind you. <laughs> okay, um, let me put these away so I don't lose them because you guys know I'm really good at misplacing things. Um, so online class coming out maybe this Oh, Stephanie says, Stephanie Clotes is my is my stepdaughter. Missed you when we left. Love you. Thanks, Steph. I know. It's okay. It was kind of chaotic. Um, the wedding is August 3rd. So um, August 3rd, Haley and Jared are getting married. And then they have to leave at like, I don't know, 3 in the morning on Sunday morning to head to Milwaukee to catch their plane. They're going on a honeymoon cruise. They are cruising from, they got. To, they have to fly to Puerto Rico and jump on a ship, and they're doing the Southern Caribbean um, cruise, which was one of Haley's favorite Stamping Up trips. And so she's taking Jared. And one of the things they're doing is an excursion. They're snorkeling in the bay by the airport in St. Martin. So if you're familiar at all with St. Martin, their planes have to come in and land on this little island, and they have to like come in and drop down and go really slow because the, the, the runways aren't very long. So, yeah. <laughs> Arliss is on here. So, my Aunt Janet is Arliss's daughter. Oh, my gosh. It's all just tied in, isn't it? And Arliss is one of my customers, my team members, and my friend. <laughs> so, pretty crazy. All right. Also this week, Thursday, um, Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin um, Blog Hop. And I just got my Paper Pumpkin. What? So I thought, hey, let's open it up and see what it is together because that's like part of the fun for me is to open it up. I haven't even looked at it yet. So, oh, we've got a lot of catalog coordination going on here. So look at this. How pretty is this? Da, 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 da. Yeah. So this is my paper pumpkin kit. Whoops, I'll turn this around so maybe you can see it. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six different images on the stamp set. I've got our brand new in color pretty peacock ink spot. Oh, and Michelle says August 3rd is her birthday. Well, we'll be celebrating on your birthday also, Michelle. <laughs> and then here comes our kit. Oh, sure, look at that. So this is the way your paper pumpkin kit comes. It looks like a gift from Tiffany's, not even kidding. Um, here it is, and here's all the pieces. Yeah, and hang on, I can't pick this up. There we go. So it also coordinates with some of our products in the catalog. So I get to play with this next um, paper pumpkin. I'm going to put this away now so I don't lose anything, but that's what a paper pumpkin kit looks like. Comes in the mail once a month, and if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through me, you get at least 15 alternate ideas using that month's kit, and I do that every month. So I, I email you a PDF um, with all 15 plus different ideas other than what Stampin' Up! has in mind for you to do with this kit. So that's really fun. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Chris. Yeah, I love Paper Pumpkin. I think it's so much fun. And then Friday, Totally Techniques Blog Hop. I don't remember what our technique... Oh, uh, our technique, technique might be Emboss Resist. Maybe. 
that might be it. So Thursday blog hop with the paper pumpkin alternate ideas. And then Friday is the totally techniques. And this week I have stamp club on Monday night in Fond du Lac and Tuesday night in Nina. And I am going to Wednesday, Steve and I are going to go get my summer home. And bring it here and put it in the driveway so that we have extra sleeping room for the wedding weekend so then I'll have my summer home here and for those of you that are new my summer home is my camper I bought it maybe two years ago and I call it my summer home because that's fancy right yeah and um, we might go camping who knows <laughs> okay I need to show you what I got this week I think these two, yeah, these two came together. So this is pretty cool. Um, I received this card in the mail from Anne Di Acquisto. I think I, I think I hope I spelled your name or said your name right, Anne. Oh, hang on. My ribbon is trying to get away from me here. Here we go. You guys are gonna love this. Are you ready for this? Okay, so look at this pretty card. Yeah, when you pull this, it opens just like magic. Isn't that fun? So yeah, you know I'll show you how to do this. Because <laughs> I, I gotta figure it out first. But once I figure it out, we are gonna make one of these. Yes, we are. I love cards that move. They're so much fun. So, Anne sent me this card and it said, it's happy belated birthday. Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. Remember that stamp set? I love that stamp set. Um, the small gift is something I use all the time. So, you know what she sent me? Check this out. Wait, I gotta find some glue. Look at this. She made it with her 3D printer. I hope you can see it because it's really white. Um, it's kind of glary. It holds your glue and then, wait, there's more. Ready? Whoop, whoop, whoop. So, it's holding your glue. I've got the lid off and the lid sits. <laughs> That was totally my fault, Anne. The lid sits right on this little tab that's right there so you don't lose it because I'm always looking for my glue lid, right? Yeah, how cute is that? So, thank you, Anne. This was so sweet. Oh, goodness, my glue's leaking out. Um, Let me grab a tissue. It shouldn't have been that runny. I got it, don't worry. <laughs> okay. There's my glue holder. I love this. And it's gonna go right on my desk. I have several glue holders now and I love all of them. Did you guys see this one? I have this one. This one, Wendy gave me as a gift. Love it. And I have this blue one. And believe me, don't think, oh geez, she already had one. No, I have lots of glue, lots of glue. So these are all made with 3D printers, you guys. They're, I guess they're just the coolest. And I did watch a 3D printer make one when I was at my friend Dina's house. So that was neat. Um, thank you very much, Anne. That was super sweet. All right, next, I have this really cool card. And this is from Bren Berger. And it's a birthday card for me. And look at that looks just like when we were in Greece. Perfect. And then you have to check out the envelope. Look at how cute that is. Thank you so much. This was just so sweet. I absolutely love it. And then Sharon Jones. I know Sharon is watching tonight. Sharon sent me, check out the envelope. It's our designer series paper. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty cool, right? And then look how cool the inside is. Mm -hmm. And this is what she made. And I think this is one of the cards from the Memories and More card pack. So, oh, Amy, her husband just bought a 3D printer. Perfect, right? Useful. <laughs> and yeah, look at this. Okay, so here's the inside. Look at that. Yeah, this is one of our Memories and More card packs. I'm sure of it. Yeah, it is. Thank you so much, Sharon. I love your cards. And then, look at this beauty. This is from Diana Canada. How gorgeous is this card? And then we've got, whoops, oh, let me get it in here. The flap of the envelope. 
the front of the envelope. And this card has the Settles um, embossing folder in the background here. Isn't that pretty? Holy cow. Absolutely gorgeous. And Diana sent me a little note. And it says, Happy belated birthday. Thanks for sharing all your festivities and goodies from the Grease Cruise. It motivated me to do more for my business. You go. <laughs> Um, I couldn't resist getting this gift for you. It made me think of you. I know you love the warm weather and live in one of the snowiest states. Ready? I'd rather shovel sand than snow. And that is a true statement. This is like one of those little wooden things, only it's metal. Yeah. How cute is that, right? Right there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Diana. That was just the nicest. I'm like, what is this box that came in the mail? All right, are you guys ready for prizes? Let me set these back here. We have winners from last week. So, for commenting. Now, there's three ways to win. Comment, so you wanna make sure that you say something to me. Type in the comment and hit the enter key. You wanna make sure that you say something to me so that you get entered in the drawing to win fabulous products. <laughs> for commenting last week is our winner is Lola Tanella. Lola is from Suamico, Wisconsin. For her comment, she's going to get some of these artisan pearls. And I just love these. Love, love, love them. And then for sharing, so make sure you click on that share button. And you can do that right now. That really helps me out. And I appreciate the shares. You want to make sure that you're sharing this to your personal profile. Um, don't share it to my personal profile because I have um, security measures on there, so you can't do that. Um, and I, I have to do that because sometimes people try to share stuff to my personal profile that is not appropriate or advertising for another Stampin' Up! demonstrator, which is not going to be helpful to me. <laughs> so I have my security heightened on there a little bit. But you want to make sure you're sharing to your personal profile. That's how you can help me the most. And why didn't you have us out by the pool? Oh, that would, maybe I can do that sometime, you guys. I can go out by the pool and do a video. We've got power out there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. That would be fun. Okay, this is the Eyelet Lace Embossing Folder. This is one of our new ones. It's really pretty. It makes a really pretty background. Sharon shared three times. Thank you, Sharon. Um, Heather Kohler of Menasha, Wisconsin, you are the winner for sharing last week's Facebook Live. So thank you so much. And then we have another category for anyone who orders from me. They also get added to a drawing. And this Butterfly Wishes is the gorgeous stamp set that I am going to give away to Jennifer Halstrom of Gilbertsville, Massachusetts. You are the winner of this gorgeous stamp set. So I will have all of these going out in the mail. And before I forget you guys, um, I wanted to tell you, if you have emailed me or messaged me on Facebook, I have been off. Um, I posted some pictures because I just quick wanted to share with you. I knew everybody wanted to see those pictures, but I have not answered any inquiries, any questions, any emails for this weekend. I was like really away from my computer as much as possible because I had so much to do for the shower. So I just want you to know that I will be getting to those. I have Stamp Club tomorrow night and I don't know what we're doing. So I have to work on that first. I have like priorities that I have to hit before I can start going through emails and messages. But I will, please know that. Um, sometimes life gets a little crazy, right? And this is one of those times that I'm a little uh, crazy. What are y'all drinking tonight? I have, oh, I almost choked on that. That's not pretty, believe me. Um, I have my strawberry um, lemonade. That is my calorie burner. I love it. Mm. And I know people are going to ask me about it. It's a product from Optavia, which is the nutrition program that I'm on and that's how I've lost all this weight. So um, it's something that you can't get any place other than from them. If anybody's interested in the program that I'm on, you can uh, message me and I'll hook you up with my coach. It's a pretty, pretty decent deal. 
<laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Okay, Lori's got water. All right. Um, I didn't, I don't think I've drank any water today. If Bev is watching, she's my coach. She's going to be not happy with me, but you know, it is what it is. I had a whole weekend of all kinds of stuff I wasn't supposed to be doing, quite frankly. <laughs> okay, I am almost ready to start sharing projects with you. I just have to put a little bit of tape on this thing before I flip my camera around. All right. I think we're ready, you guys. Is everybody ready? Does anybody have any questions? Questions. Oh, a Hurricane Icy, Wendy. That sounds really good. I don't think I have anything else that I need to tell you about. Oh, our oval dies are not available for a couple weeks. I don't know exactly what's going on with them. Nothing's wrong with them. I just think the new manufacturer needs to make more. Maybe we ran out. Um, so, just so you know that. And I think what I'm going to start with tonight is Haley's bridal shower card, which I didn't even give to her yet, because <laughs> I wanted to show you guys tonight, so I saved it, that's what I'm saying, I just saved it, I didn't like just not give it to her, but we are going to, I'm going to show you what I made for Haley's shower card, because it was really pretty, and it's kind of a nifty little technique, and I thought, ooh, this will, this will be good for Facebook Live, yeah, all right, Get all my pieces out here. I'm going to turn my camera around in just a second. And oh, I got two baskets here. I don't know why. Then we're going to get to work. Having fun, right? Yeah, because my job is the funnest job in the world. I love it. Okay, I think I'm ready. And I'm going to flip you guys now. I just missed whatever that said. I can't touch my screen. Okay, so if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I will tell you when to open them up. And here we go. Not yet. Don't open your eyes yet because I got to get you. Oh, that's kind of floppy. I wonder why that's floppy. I am plugged in. I have to reposition. Hang on. I don't want to touch something goofy here. Here we go. Unmirror my phone. There we go. And I'm going to get my cord out of the way. Oh, I got it on the wrong side here. Okay, that looks all right, right? Yep, okay. I think we're good. You can open your eyes. Now, people tell me that when I turn my phone around and I'm um, now filming this way, that my voice gets quieter. I don't know what happens with my phone, but believe me, I have a big mouth and I am still being loud. But if you need to, now is the time you need to turn up your volume on whatever device you're on because that's what they tell me is that it gets really kind of a lot quieter. All right. Of course, I picked wonderful moments as my stamp set to use for Haley's bridal shower card. And I also made a mask. Now, when I get done with this, I will put it right inside my case and keep it there so I can use it again. You only have to make a mask one time. But this is just a beautiful stamp set. It's good for um, pregnant, pr um, pregnant cards. <laughs> it's good for um, baby shower cards. Um, there's some birthday in here, uh, balloons, and then of course the bridal showers. So. I really do like the stamp set. And, oh, I have to get out an envelope. So just hang tight. Here we go. I forgot my envelope. What's that? I don't know what that is. Hang on. Got something stuck on here. Oh, I think it's probably a piece of my mask. All right, so there we go. And then we're going to bring in the Rococo Rose. So that's what color this cardstock is. And this is four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. So we're just gonna fold that in half and burnish it good with our bone folder. Hang on a second while I make my, oh, I saw somebody's drinking sangria beer. So that was the other thing that happened with the shower on Saturday. Um, we went shopping and we bought tons of beverages, tons of them. And then we had to take our party to a pub where we couldn't bring our beverages with us. So 
over the next few weeks, we have a lot of really yummy things to drink on Sunday fun days. <laughs> yeah, it was a little expensive weekend for me. <laughs> but you know what? It is what it is. Who cares? Everything worked out. Nobody got hurt. That's the important part. And I can make more money, right? Right. All right. So first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to stamp my greeting because those are the things that are the most challenging for me. If I get it crooked, I haven't done any more work here. So I'm going to stamp with a Rococo rose. And I got that good. <laughs> um, then I'm going to bring in my Memento Black. Oh, and by the way, where did my... Oh, here's my cheat sheet. This layer is Whisper White, and it is... Hmm. Let me think about this. Three and three-eighths by three and seven-eighths? Yes, three and three-eighths by three and seven-eighths. For some reason, I thought that was wrong, but it's right. Okay. Now, I've got my bride here. And I am going to ink her up with the Memento ink. Now I'm going to be using um, alcohol markers. So that's why I definitely want to use Memento ink. I'm going to stamp her right here. Oh, and she turned out beautiful. Okay. Then we're going to come in and do some things. And we've got our Memento. This is the uh, Memento. We've got our... Um, Stampin' Blend Alcohol Marker in Ivory, and this is the perfect color for skin tone. So I'm just going to color her up, any skin that you can see. You want to color her in. And next, I'm going to come in with the bronze marker and do her hair. Now Haley's hair is kind of a dark well, I don't know if you call it dark brown, maybe just brown. So this was her card and I wanted it to look nice for her. <laughs> like this is my bride. And then this bouquet is kind of um, a little abstract. So you really don't know where the flowers are. So I just like pick what flowers I want. This is a brand new light Rococo rose. And then I brought in the light granny apple green and I just filled in the rest of the bouquet with green. So you just pick which ones you want to be flowers because it's not really that clear. <laughs> it's a good way to put it. Okay, so now all of this coloring is done. The next thing that I did, where'd my stamp set go? Right here. Oops, everything's falling out. Is I stamped my bride on a big post-it note. So here's, here's um, these are post-it notes, okay? I stamped my bride just like this, and I wanted her, oops, hang on. I wanted to get as much as I could on the sticky part of the post-it note. I hope that makes sense. So this part of my um, mask is sticky, and I'm gonna bring that in here and cover over exactly where I stamped on my white layer. And then I've got a sponge and my Rococo Rose ink. So I'm just gonna bring that in here and I'm going to get rid of some of the blotch. I don't want it to be full strength on my sponge. Now I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna start on my mask and I'm just gonna gently go off the edges with the color. If you go right from here to doing this on your white, it's gonna be very blotchy and I don't think it's very attractive. So I'm just kind of giving her a little mask there. Isn't that kind of cool? So the reason why I chose Rococo Rose is because that's one of the colors in Haley's wedding, whatever you want to call it, you know, all of her stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. The other thing I wanted to do was take my black Stampin' Right marker and you can see where this line doesn't go all the way to the bottom for the dress, and I want it to go all the way for, to the bottom. So I'm just gonna do it with a black marker and the same thing right over here. And boom, now you've got it all the way to the bottom edge. Um, we also have 
Before I go any further on this, I'm going to do my inside as long as I have my ink pads out here and then I can put them away. I'm going to stamp my greeting for the inside. And this says, congratulations and best wishes for a future filled with love and happiness. Isn't that nice? I thought so. <laughs> okay, and then, let's see. I also brought in a little lace. I use this for the envelope and I want to stamp this little heart. So I'm gonna get that mounted and with the Rococo Rose, I'm just gonna come in here and stamp that heart right there. And I think that's gonna be really pretty on the inside of our card. Here we go. Um, here's my card. Okay, now I can close these up so I don't dip my cards in them because we all know how good I am at that. Next thing we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take, well, I guess I already did this. Hang on a second. Gotta think a little bit. Oh, I know. Okay, you're gonna need a layer. Let me cut this because I don't have this cut anymore. Um, you're going to need a whisper white layer that's six by four and a half. So we're going to do six by four and a half. Okay. So it's a, it's a pretty big layer. And then what I did is I brought in these dies and this is the stitched lace dies and they bundle up with the, a little lace stamp set. There's this big background one and then an edge one and we're gonna I'm gonna show you just a second here what I did so I took this and I ran it through my big shot now the best way to run it through is a little bit of an angle instead of straight through your big shot you're gonna run it through it a little as you know don't let these stick out beyond the plates but as much as you can turn it at an angle and I ran it through and back and then you want to look at the back of it to make sure that it is all the way die cut. And if you see some in the middle, that's usually where this happens, that's not completely die cut, turn it around and run it through again, okay? That will get you your layer that you need. Now, I am going to actually, oh, I'll show you here. Um, where did our edge piece go? Did you, here it is. So then I took this edge piece and this edge piece fits on here perfectly. So you can die cut this lace image. And I use washi tape to hold this in place. You don't want this edge to move. So I take a piece of washi tape, put it on there. I'm gonna run this through my big shot and when that's all done, you're gonna have something that looks like this. Cool, right? Should we do that? Let me do it. Let me get my big shot. So not only can you get like this whole piece of lace, you can also do this beautiful edge. Now, anytime I'm running something through my big shot, I am always turning it so that you have the least amount of metal going through at the at one time. I just find that my machine works a lot better when I do that. I'm going to get this all lined up. I've got that washi tape holding it so it doesn't move on me. We got our fingers crossed, right? Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So, you could do this on all four sides and you'll end up with something like this. Now, I only wanted it on the bottom edge here. Hang on. And then I am going to take this piece, put it right here. And I need, hang on a second, I gotta find. I've got my little glue paper plate and my glue sponge. And I'm going to use some of this. Mm, 
pretty sticky. Hang on. There we go. Once you get it a little wet with glue again, it's not so sticky. Where'd my piece of paper go? Right here. I'm going to bring this in turn this over and this is how I am going to add glue to the back of my lacy layer so you don't have to worry about it oozing out oops I think I need some more oozing out from under your layer Isn't that pretty? Ah. Yes, and Marcia says she wishes they would get the purple posy so you can order all the in color inks. Yeah, Marcia, I completely understand. And they are working on it as quickly as they can. It's been a real problem. They are working. Believe me, Stampin' Up! does not like the fact that they do not have purple posy ink ready to roll either. Okay, then. I am going to take this piece, whoops, we're not done with this yet. I'm going to take um, Wink of Stella, you guys. I'm going to bring in the Wink of Stella and I am going to color the wedding dress so that it glimmers and looks just amazing. And I'll hold this up for you in just a second so you can see all of that. Can you see that? Ooh, I betcha. Let me look. What? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, don't forget to wink of Stella, your dress. Then we're going to do, I mean, this was for my daughter, so it had to be pretty grand, right? <laughs> Seeing as her mom is the stamping lady. I'm going to bring in my rhinestones and... I need my take your pick putty end. Pop that off of there. I'm gonna put a rhinestone right in the middle of her bun. And then I'm gonna take these little tiny pearls and add them all around the rhinestone. And I'm adding five of them. And when you're making a shower card for somebody that is as important as your daughter, you do not skimp on the embellishments. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. So we're going to add this white layer to a Rose Rococo layer. And this is, um, oh, you know what, you guys? Hmm. All these measurements are going to be... Um, above this video when I'm done. I'll put all the measurements in because I think I gave you the wrong measurement. It says the rose rococo is three and three eighths by three and seven eighths and then the white layer is going to be three and a quarter by three and three quarters. I think that's the right dimensions. Okay, then we're gonna bring in some dimensionals and we're gonna pop this layer up. And I'm trying to look at comments here and see if I have any questions. If I happen to miss your questions, please feel free to keep asking them until I see them because it's, it's a little tricky to do all this stuff at once and try to find questions, right? I'm gonna, oh yeah, here's a whole bunch of comments. Thank you guys so much. Somebody just said, oh, so beautiful. Okay, I'm not done yet. Because remember, this is for my daughter. <laughs> This has to be something spectacular. Now, I took some of our flax ribbon and I am going to pull, I, oh, I took my, uh, where's my snips? Right here. I took my snips and I just cut one, I cut in between these strings going up a length of this ribbon. And now you can just peel these strings off of here because I wanted strings. I didn't want the whole piece of ribbon. So I've got three strings here. I'm going to take this and tie it in a bow, which is, I was gonna say super easy, but watch me flub this up and then it's not super easy. 
Here we go. I did not flub it up. Yay me! I'm gonna grab, oh, you know what? My daughter took my mini glue dots to use for decoration. So we decorated the whole garage, spent like hours decorating the garage. And then we had to like leave it all there and go someplace else for the shower. So that was great. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is, right? Okay. It will be memorable. It's like, remember that time that we had this huge storm on your yeah shower day? Yep, we'll talk about that for a long time. Okay, so then I put this little bow right here. I'm going to trim this up just a tiny bit. Okay, and I think we have it now. Last but not least is our envelope, which is right here. And this is what I'm going to do with it. Now, remember I said I brought in the heart from a little lace. Now, the a little lace goes with the um, stitched lace die. Okay, so we've got this one and wherever that edge is that cuts the edge off. I lost it, but it's, it's here someplace. Anyways, I'm going to take that flower with the Rococo Rose ink. to stamp that right on my envelope. Oh, isn't that pretty together? Yeah. So now I can give Haley <laughs> her shower card because I could make it for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and for um, I'll just clean up this mess and I'll keep telling you about the shower. So for the shower... Um, gift, what I got her was a um, cornhole game. So she registered on Amazon and a couple other places, but she really wanted yard games. And so I got her cornhole game, and her and her fiance are both huge Cub fans, Chicago Cubs. And so I got decals, um, Cub decals to go on their cornhole games. So I think that's something that they're gonna have forever and be able to use and for parties and oh my gosh, they're just gonna have a blast with that. So here's the laced, stitched lace dies, a little lace. This is a bundle together. This is a really, really pretty little stamp set. Let me move this stuff out of the way so I can keep going here because I have some more flower cards. I know you guys are just going to love these other two also. I'm going to set this back here. Get this out of the way. Oh, and remember I said that I take this. Oh, I grabbed the wrong stuff. Oh, here's my stamp set. I will keep this inside my case so that I can use it in the future. I don't have to remake that mask. That's just a really good little tip for you. So you don't have to, you know, keep reinventing the wheel all the time. Oh, there was my giant. No, never mind. <laughs> that was my giant piece that I thought I missed, but I didn't. Okay, next up. Whoops, let's get these put away too. And this. Next up, look at this beautifulness. Yeah, this paper is absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, Mary Olson says, does she need the proper cub corn bags yet? You know what, Mary Olson? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I saw those too. I know exactly what you're talking about. They have those in um, cubs material, right? Okay. Got a couple things going on here. We are going to be playing with this new washi tape. And where did my, here it is. So it comes in a pack like this. So you get, you get this, which is kind of old time newsprinty looking washi tape and then you get these gorgeous flower petals and I'm gonna play with those a little bit tonight 
They were super fun, and I know you guys are just going to love them. <clears throat> All right, let me show you this amazing paper. This is called our Pressed Petals Specialty Designer Series Paper. And it is a lighter weight paper than our other designer series paper. And it's meant to be very delicate, lightweight, easy to use. So I'm gonna pull this one out. Look at those beautiful, beautiful flowers. And then on the back, we have this really cool, um, what is this color? Uh, Mary Merlot newsprint with flowers on it that's so so pretty so there's one of the designs here is another design beautiful pressed flowers and then this gorgeous wood background I think there's six different designs in here here's some like burlap looking material and some leaves pressed leaves Ooh, this blueberry one, isn't that gorgeous? And that's got the um, burlap in the background and then some more newsprint. And, okay, we did the blue one, yep. And then we have this one. Again, pressed flowers with some greenery and then this beautiful um, scripty type writing. Gorgeous, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Let me make sure I got all of them. Did I do this one? Nope, I did not. <gasps> Look at this. Isn't this cool? So you've got all these different blocks on here. And we're going to be using this block to make a card. But what would you do with this? Well, first you're going to cut this strip of daisies off. Okay? So you're going to cut that off so you can use it for something. Let me get mine out here because I've cut some of these apart. Here we go. You're going to cut those daisies off and I'm going to keep them in here until I'm ready to use them because this is going to be a really cute like type of embellishment layer to go with this or this or even the white daisies or the middle flower. Very, very cool. Lots of different things you can do with this. Now, I have to tell you that you get, I think four sheets of each one of these. Let me find it in here. Here we go. Page 74. This is the Press Petals Specialty Designer Series paper. You get 24 sheets in this pack. You get four each of six double-sided designs. So there's six different designs in here. You get four sheets of these. This paper, oh, love, love, love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let me move this out of the way. I love the like charming country look to it. I think that's really pretty. Let's see if I can get it back in the pack quick or I can shove it aside. Oh, look at that. I did it. Yay me. I'm still winning. <laughs> okay. Next, I'm going to bring in my layers here. All right, let me see if I missed any comments. Video stopping and starting. Um, Deb, I don't know. Mine is working perfectly here, so I'm not quite sure what's happening, but it could be anything. It's the internet, right? Yeah. All right, for this one... Oh, here, let me get these out. Da -da -da. This is what I've got. I've got Mary Merlot. This is four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. So we're gonna fold that in half and burnish that edge. Okay. Then I've got a piece of our vellum cardstock that's also four by, well, it's four by five and a quarter, not also. And then I took this pattern of paper. Hang on, let me grab it that's coming right off of the sheet. So I cut this strip off and then I cut this and I got this, okay? So I'm using this. I cut this down to four by five and a quarter, which is the same as the vellum layer. Then I've got an inside layer of very vanilla that's the same, four by five and a quarter. 
a little piece here of the designer series paper from that pack that is three quarters by four and then a scrap of mossy meadow so the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to do a little bit of stamping and I've got Versamark ink and I'm using the Path of Petals stamp set. Now this is a bundle with, did I put this in the wrong case? Yep, I did. Hang on. Here we go. This is the Petal Labels die. So in this die, you get this big floral die, which is an oval. You get this smaller one, which cuts out the frame we're gonna use for this card. And then you can cut out another layer that goes right in the middle of this one. Okay, so let me just put this right back here. All right, so. I've got my um, embossing buddy on my scrap of mossy meadow. I'm going to stamp sharing in your sorrow. And then we're going to emboss it with white embossing powder. Did I say I was using Versamark ink? If I didn't say that, I meant to. Okay, so here, whoops, that didn't get much embossing powder. There we go. Okay, so that's our white embossing powder. And then we're going to heat set this. And through the magic of TV, I've already done that. I'm going to grab this die and I'm going to I want my greeting to be over here on the right hand side. So I'm going to run this through the big shot. And again, magically, I've already done that. <laughs> it's not really magic. I do a lot of prep for these Facebook lives. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have. And isn't that so cool? I just, here, let me put this up against some white. I just love all that detail. And it's got the stitching in it. It's beautiful. Okay. It is time to put our card together. So here's what we're gonna do. I am going to stamp my greeting on the inside here with Mossy Meadow ink. This is a really nice greeting for a sympathy card. I like to have these made up ahead of time and on hand because, you know, usually you don't know when people are gonna need one. Hoping you can find, well, that's crooked for Pete's sakes. Let me try that again. I need to stand up. There we go. Okay. Hoping you can find strength for today and peace in tomorrow. Then I'm going to take that three quarter inch strip. Hang on. I needed a drink. <laughs> yes. And it's only strawberry lemonade. And we're going to put that right down here. I like to leave just a little border on the bottom. We're going to trim off the little bit of excess that's hanging out there. And put this right inside of our card so we are ready to rock it. There we go. All right. There's the inside. Here comes the outside. Now, I want to put this vellum on here. And you know there's several different ways you can put vellum on to um, cards. Usually you're going to use mini glue dots underneath what you um, your layers that go on top of it because I don't like seeing my adhesive through the vellum. I just think that's that's not okay with me. It's tacky. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. So I am going to bring in my glue. And you can also put this glue on a silicone sheet and dab it off, but I just have this icky old paper plate that I've used. And I'm going to take my vellum and I'm going to add some glue to it. And I'm going to stick it to my pretty layer. And when you put your glue on like that, you don't see it through the front. Now, you don't want to put a lot on. It's just a, li a little bit of the sponge, right? 
but now it just has really toned this down and we are going to take this washi tape this comes with the pressed petals is that what this is called let me look it sure is pressed petals specialty washi tape I'm gonna take some of this you want to make sure it's right side up here and I'm just going to put a little layer of it right down here at the bottom of my card because I just thought it would look cool it serves no other purpose than to look really cool <laughs> okay there we go isn't that neat just looks kind of old-fashioned it's a little bit shabby chic too okay then I'm going to glue this onto my Mary Merlot card base just like that I'm going to bring in my label that I die cut and I'm going to put that right here and now now we're gonna play with this washi tape so like I said um, both of these come in a pack this is called the pressed petals specialty washi tape and what I found is I like to use my little pokey tool or we have the take your pick tool okay you're gonna find one petal and do I, I have a hair someplace sticking here this is one little petal and I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet and I'm just going to stick these petals on here so that I can make a flower now I could do this right on my card but I want my flower to be right before I put it on my card does that make sense so my craft my silicone craft sheet is the perfect way to do this and I just start out with four petals just like this I'm just pressing them down in the middle here onto my craft sheet Yeah, I know, Sharon, you can hear better when I stand up, but I can't stand for that long. I'm really kind of a lazy stamper. And um, it's funny, too, because when I hear from people that I am I am harder to hear, I know that I'm harder to hear, but when I watch this back on YouTube or watch this back on um, Facebook, when I turn my volume up, I can hear me perfectly fine. So I'm not really sure if you know what's going on with the volume on everybody's devices that they can't turn it up to make it louder I'm not really quite sure okay look at that isn't that just the prettiest little flower ever I'm going to take my flower and I'm going to bring it on to my card Oops. and I'm gonna stick it right down here last but not least oh, let me find I'm missing an embellishment oh here they are these are our perennial essence floral centers. They're fuzzy little floral flower centers. Perennial essence flower centers. And I am going to stick that right in the middle of my, I think this is a pansy. What do you guys think? Isn't that just the cutest? Well, it's not cute, it's very pretty. What a wonderful sympathy card. Now, you can make this a birthday card, a get well card, a thinking of you card, any kind of card you want. A wedding card. But again, it was made out of one of these little squares. Isn't that cool? You get four sheets of this in that designer series paper pack. Yeah, I really love this. I think it's just gorgeous. Okay, now. The next thing that I have to show you, I do have another card. Okay, it's 8.09. I'm going to keep clipping along here. Um, the next thing that I want to show you is another card using this set of dies. Now, don't forget, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. If you would like to get a hold of this catalog, the new catalog, you can pop me an email at kelly at a stampabove.com. Happy to send you a catalog. And if you, again, if you do not have a demonstrator, I always appreciate your orders. You're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand column. 
and you click on that, it'll take you right to my store. Use this host code when placing your orders or whichever host code is in that right column on my blog. That's the current one. Okay, I'm gonna set this card aside for a moment and we are going to do another one. This one's really pretty. I hope this doesn't take me too much time. I may be keeping you a little longer than you might want tonight, or you can come back and finish watching tomorrow. But I really wanted to show you this card because I had somebody ask me to make it for them. It's part, it's actually in the catalog. This is soft sea foam that is five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm just gonna fold that in half. Genius, right? <laughs> there we go. And then I've got a piece of our designer series specialty paper. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm gonna take this specialty paper and I'm going to cover up the entire front of my soft seafoam layer. Usually I leave a margin, but in this one, I'm not going to. I'm gonna just completely cover the whole front of this card. All right, next I've got a layer for the inside and I'm gonna bring in that Mossy Meadow ink again. Where did my, here's my, oh, I gotta clean this. Hang on, I have Versamark on here. Let me clean that. And I'm going to stamp Sharing in Your Sorrow and that's gonna go right in the middle of this four by five and a quarter Whisper White layer. And then I've got three quarters of an inch of that designer paper, this is the burlap side, to go on the inside of my card. And again, I just like to do a little something with the inside of my card. Ah, uh, Sharon says, awesome card, Kelly. Thank you so much, Sharon, you are so sweet. Okay, yeah, this looks like the right size. Okay, trim this off. I'm gonna get this right inside of our card so we're done with that part. I love the soft sea foam with that burlap um, designer series paper. It looks really kind of striking, right? Isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. Now, I've got a couple different dies here. First of all, I'm using the Stitch Shapes die, and I am going to see how good I can do stamping again in Mossy Meadow with this with this um, sympathy phrase. Oh, I did really good. <laughs> okay. And then, let's get this closed up. We're going to bring this layer in and this layer in. So, this one is three and three quarters by five. And what I'm going to do with that is you've got this oval, and again, this is our petal labels dies. I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it right in the middle of the smaller white layer. Okay. And I'm going to bring my big shot in so I can show you how I did this. Whoops, I just lost my sandal. And I'm getting a little warm. <laughs> Hot flash coming on. Hang on, I'm missing my comments because my screen isn't scrolling. Oh, I see Steve Atchison is on there. Hi, Steve Atchison. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this, can you guys see this? Yes. I'm gonna put this right in the middle of this smaller layer of white. Again, three and three quarters by five. And I'm gonna run this through. Then I'm going to need a different setup. All right. I'm going to take this. Now, you guys know that I'm kind of picky about my dies. I like to make sure that all the little pieces are out of them before I put them away. 
so that when I go to use them again, I don't have to spend a lot of time messing around getting all the little pieces out, right? Clean it up before you put it away. And then I'm gonna take this. This whole thing is just gonna pop right out of here. And again, this is kind of, well not again, but it's very delicate, so you want to be careful with it. Okay, look at that. Isn't that pretty? This part is just trash. And now we're going to make sure that we get all these little bits out. And I could have done this with my Big Shot die brush, which I probably should have. Ah, I just tore it. Darn it. Well, we're going to keep moving along. I can glue it. Well, no, I can't glue it down, but it'll be okay. So what I'm seeing here is that this was a die cut all the way right there on that end, but we're going to keep going. I should have looked at the back. Make sure you look at the back first. When I did my um, sample card, I didn't have this issue, so I don't know what I did, but, you know, things happen sometimes. They don't always go as planned, that's for sure. Get that. Nope, I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, so here's our little floral frame, right? And isn't that pretty? Now I'm going to bring this in here, and I've got Soft Sea Foam and Highland Heather are my ink colors. I just stuck my finger in there. Here's the Highland Heather. So I'm going to take a sponge dauber in the soft sea foam and I'm going to come in here and sponge dauber all the green parts. And, whoops, get back here. Here we go. Now, the one thing that I want you to make sure you also do is do around the edge, the edge right here where your um, die cutting ends because you'll see in a minute why that's important. All the green parts with soft sea foam. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, then I'm gonna come in with the Highland Heather and I just like to kind of twist my um, sponge dauber. This gives it kind of a different little look. And you could also take an aqua painter, and I think that's how Stampin' Up! did this card in the catalog. They took an aqua painter and colored all these flowers, but I thought, oh, this is so much quicker. And it's kind of pretty fun. Like, I like doing this. All right, I've got some little pieces here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna close this up, and we're going to bring in soft sea foam. Now, I needed a really big oval. And what I found was the Heirloom Frames dies. It has a really big oval and big rectangles. Now, this cuts out the outside oval and the inside oval. The outside rectangle and the inside rectangle. I'm going to take this and die cut it in the middle of this four by five and a quarter inch soft sea foam cardstock. So hang tight. I've got my magnetic platform in here, cutting plate, and then the die with the cardstock. Now I want to make sure that I try and get this centered as good as I can. And here we go. Look at that. We've got this giant oval, a small oval, and then you also have this frame. And there's little holes in the die to help you get that frame out of there. Look at how pretty that is. So I'm going to save that because I'm not even using it. Now I'm going to bring in my regular Big Shot platform and my um, 
embossing plate. This is the new embossing plate. And I've got the new Scripty embossing folder. One of the things that I love about these new folders is they have this line right here. So if you need for your layer to emboss something perfectly straight, I like to line up the end of my cardstock with this line right here, and I know it's going to be straight. Put that embossing plate on top. Now, if you don't have this blue embossing plate, I highly recommend that you order one. It's going to go with all of our um, thick embossing, 3D embossing folders. But if you don't have it yet and you have some of these thicker new folders, six sheets of cardstock on top of um, a regular plate for a shim will work with this. But I just really recommend you get the get the plate. It's only $10. All right, let me get this stuff out of the way so we can keep going. And this. Okay, here we go. So I've cut out the oval and now I have embossed it with that scripty embossing folder. Let me move that out of the way. Here's my layer coming back now. This is going to go right on top of our oval. Oh my gosh, right? Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of glue in all these little corners of my die cut layer and bring in... So now I'm going to tell you make sure that you sponge around the outside edge down here because you don't want to just do your flowers and then have this whole rim be white. That's why I kind of sponged it a little further. Isn't that pretty? Look at how cool that is. Okay, now we're going to use some dimensionals. Hang on, I'm sweating. <laughs> yep. Hot flash. Okay, here we go. And... Some more edges and then I'm gonna come in with some smaller of our mini dimensionals to put you want to put dimensionals on all the sides like don't leave them off because I found that I really needed them okay here comes our card front that we're gonna put this on what do you guys think so far yeah Marcia says oh my gosh, this is so, that is so cool. It is, isn't it? It's beautiful. And again, this is called the Path of Petals and the Petal Label Dies. And these, they really didn't catch my eye when I first looked through the catalog, well, several times. They just weren't really on my radar, and then I bought them, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. All right, now I'm going to stand up so I can place this, hopefully straight, <laughs> get an even border on it. I think I did pretty darn good. And then we've got our braided linen trim. So I'm going to take some of this. Wrap it around. And now we're going to tie a bow over here. Oh, I need way more than that for a bow. There we go. That should be good. I'm going to tie a bow over here. Now, if you're not good at, you know, tying bows like this, use the bow jig, tie a bow, and stick it on with a mini glue dot. It'll be fine, right? Nobody's going to go, oh, look, she cheated on her bow. Nobody will even know. But I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm... I'm known to tie a good bow a time or two. <laughs> I think I did pretty good. I had a lot of practice. Okay, we're going to pull that down a little bit. All right. Trim this off. Okay, now this is, goes kind of over everything. Now, this layer that we die cut already, we're going to add that with some dimensionals. Here we go. 
And you want to make sure this is going right in the middle of your oval. Okay, I'm going to bend that down a little bit because it wants to stick up there. <gasps> what do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? It's just really, really pretty. Now again, this is a whole suite of products. You've got this, you've got the washi tape, you've got this amazing paper, and all of this is called the pressed, I think it's called pressed petals, yep, pressed petals suite. Gorgeous. Okay, let me show you. Let's get all this mess out of the way. So we've got this one, that washi tape is super, super easy and fun. This one, and then the shower card. Oh, yay! Okay, you guys, did I miss any questions? Because if I missed any questions, now is the time to ask them again. You need a shot glass on your table to collect backings. Oh, well, that might be a good idea, but I do have a garbage can really close by Vicki, so it's not, it's not that bad. All right, any questions that I missed? Don't forget, you guys, I always appreciate your orders. That's how I pay my bills. This is my full-time job, and isn't it spectacular? I love my job. There's not a lot of people that can say that, but I can, and I feel very blessed to be able to do this for you. If you would like to place an order, you can hop right on my blog, stampabove.com, and uh, look for the online ordering button in the right-hand column. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always available to answer them. Gosh, this is just so, so pretty. And what else? Don't forget to watch for my blog hop coming up on Thursday and Friday. That's going to be pretty cool. And again, this oval that I used here is from the Heirloom Frames Dies. This is a whole nother bundle of products that is super, super cool. It's right in the beginning of the catalog, this one is. Um, yeah. All right. Any questions? I hope you had fun tonight. Oh my gosh, Sharon said four of her friends just came over to view my video. Well, yay. <laughs> that sounds like a blast. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much, and you are so very welcome. Um, I was really lucky because I came in my studio first thing this morning. I made breakfast for all the kids. We had Texas French toast and um, maple sausages. I made breakfast for everybody and got that cleaned up and then I came in here right away and I already had this card made but I came up with these two this morning and then I got to go out and enjoy myself by the pool all day with the family because I had everything ready to go for tonight so that was really cool yay thank you Charlene Charlene says thank you that shower card is just the best thank you so much I thought it was super super pretty too right now I've got another one ready to go because this one was from a girl. I got that all written in. What did I say to her? I love you more than anything in the world. Love mom. Yeah, that's from a girl. <clears throat> okay, you guys, I am going to be live again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need a drink. Who needs a drink? We all need a drink. I'm going to be live again on July 28th at 7 p.m. Central. That's next Sunday night. The following week I will not be live because that's Haley's wedding weekend and I'm just going to take that time. I've got cousins flying in from Arizona. I've got family coming in from all over the state. It's going to be a super duper big weekend, but I will be sharing pictures with you guys because I don't want to exclude you. You've been along for this whole thing, right? I know you can't come to the wedding, but I will have you there in spirit, and I will be able to share lots and lots of pictures with you. So, um, if I missed anything, please don't hesitate to private message me. I'm happy to uh, answer your questions. I don't think I have anything else for you tonight. I think I can take off my crown. <laughs> I'm going to go out and... Every, every week when I'm done, I usually 
take off my crown, I turn everything off, and I head out to the garage and I have a chat with Steve. That's like kind of our routine. routine. So I'm going to head out and see what Steve's doing. And um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm rambling now, so I'm going to go have yourselves a wonderful week. I will see you again. I'm going to have this on my blog. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow, maybe not till Tuesday. Um, I have a tip video coming out Wednesday, blog hop Thursday, blog hop Friday. Lots of good stuff to share with you. And that's right, Patricia. Family first. We love it. Oh, Kathy says her comments are not coming through. Oh, good luck with the wedding preparations. Yeah, we have a lot of those to do, too. And I have to go get my summer home. So, lots of stuff going on. All right, you guys. Have yourselves a fabulous week. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really do appreciate you. Bye-bye.